Okay, you know the drill. I have a save file. I'm working on it. It has a lot of lore, realism, blah, blah, blah. Today, we're going to do an apartment for two of my sims in the save file. So here are the sims for reference. This is Harlow Dylan. She's really cute. This is kind of her style and kind of how she dresses. She's in a band called Magenta Obscurity with her ex-boyfriend, who is also her friends with benefits with her. And she also has a girlfriend... It's kind of messy. And then her sibling is named Rune. Rune is a teenager. And so this sim is newer to me. I made this sim in my head by furnishing their bedroom first. So their bedrooms are all done. I'll give you a little tour of their bedrooms. And then from there, the sim kind of came to me. Also to give you a little bit more lay of the land and kind of what's going on. So their mom is actually married to one of the families that is the richest in Willow Creek in my save. So they're the Boudreaux family and um, their mom is married to one of the Boudreaux spares. This is the townhomes that they're going to be living in. They live in this unit here. If you watched my updates video on Willow Creek, I kind of asked for input on floor plan. Somebody told me that I should just make it three townhomes and you know what? You're right. The whole idea here is that the reason that they can afford this unit, which I'll give you a little tour of the upstairs, which I have finished furnishing, their mom is giving the money to stay here. And like I said, their mom is married to the richest family in town. So they got quite an excess of money. They're a little bit trust fund babies at the moment. This is Harlow's room. I love this room. I think this is like my favorite room that I've done in this game in like so long. I love like this mauve pink with all the blacks and like the details of the record player and the guitar, this Machino bookshelf. Um, this is like a little chest that came with growing together, I think. No, the garden kit. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to see if I can like stash photos in here or not. If not, I might have to break out um, like one of these keepsake boxes instead. I want you to be able to kind of snoop around in Harlow's things if you were playing in the save and you wanted to explore a little bit more. So Harlow has the primary, so she has an ensuite and a walk-in closet. Well, they both have walk-in closets, but her her ensuite and walk-in closet are kind of nicer. I was really proud of this closet, actually. I don't know, even the suitcase, I think, is like a really cute touch. Corner tub, that's how you know that you're loaded. <laughs> um, I thought this was like adorable and very, it gives me like Sanrio vibes. I know it's like Void Critters. And then a separate room for the the toilet. Um, I'm gonna do some family photos in these filler stuff and then this. I'm really proud of this room too. I put so many hobbies in for this sim. So the sim is like a plant lover obviously but also just loves like a bunch of like weird knickknacks. I put like a bunch of like odd little knickknacks in here and then simi capsules. The sim collects them. So there's like one over on this bookshelf. There's one over here. But yeah, really likes plants. A little desk over here by the window to write, which I thought was just so cute. And even out on the fire escape, I put um, chimes and then a little planters from that gardening kit. In my brain, Rune is like always going out and like planting and <laughs> propagating and whatnot. And then in their walk-in closet, there's as much smaller as you can see. This is kind of what's going on, but I put the crochet thing in, the embroidery thing in. I think this is a really crafty sim. And this sim also has a cat. So there's going to be a cat in this apartment as well, which I haven't made animals yet. And then this bathroom is the upstairs bathroom, but for all intents and purposes, it's Rune's bathroom. I don't really think any guests would use it. Um, so it's styled just a little bit more for Rune. It has a litter box in it. I'm really excited. That's the two kind of vibes that are going to be in this house. Oh my gosh, look at my cat. He's being so cute. Well, he's curling up and he's gonna wash. He's taking a bath. <laughs> but yeah, to give you an idea of the floor plan and the downstairs, it's a three-story townhome, which I struggled a little bit with this floor plan, but I think I ended up in a good spot. So you walk in, there's gonna be like this entry room, probably like a little sitting room here, um, a little mud room type situation. This will be the living room. It's just like a toilet and sink room from there. And then also an office. I'm gonna half and half do this as like a music space and then also like a craft crochet space. So like the dream 
space. In my brain, these two siblings get along super duper well. That's why Rune lives with Harlow. In my brain, the marriage is very recent. And in my brain also, maybe mom is pregnant with new baby. And it's like a point of tension for everyone that, you know, these two siblings are like, one is like a teen about to graduate high school. One is a young adult. They're like grown. And now mom's having more kids is kind of like an interesting dynamic. And then this room is just going to be for the water heater. This is the part that I think is maybe kind of weird, but I like it. And I asked my partner and he said he really liked it. So I'm just, I'm trusting his opinion. But you go up the stairs and then there's kind of this open air where the dining room is going to go. And then probably some other shenanigans over here. I don't really know yet. We'll find that out in this video. And then you go through this archway and there's a kitchen here. I'm going to do a little breakfast bar over by these windows and the escape route. And then this is either going to be a butler's kitchen, which if you don't know what that is, it sounds really fancy and it is pretty fancy, but it doesn't mean that they're going to have a butler. It just means that it's like the separate space in rich people's kitchens where they have all their appliances so that their kitchen kitchen can look like pretty and aesthetic. <laughs> it's not like you can just like put an Instapot on top of the fridge and then you and your gameplay can just pull it onto the counter. I wished it would let you do that, but you know, we can't win everything. So then this would instead be the place where we could like do this, which it looks a little silly in this game because it's just like really spread out like this. But um, I think I'm going to try and make it like look like a pantry. So it also just looks like less weird. And then every single apartment has the same floor plan. I want this one all the way on this side to be one that your sim could move into. So this one's going to be empty. I have no clue how much this apartment costs. We're building as it all just being a residential unit because this game is so broken. I'm most excited for this room. So I think we're just going to start there. Oh my god, that was like the world's longest intro. I am so sorry. Strap in. This is going to be a very chatty long video. <laughs> I hope you're in for it. Okay, I'm going to do kind of the rundown water heater. This is like a older building that's been kind of redone. It's really cute. My whole concept for this entire neighborhood, a redone kind of gingerfied, almost like older neighborhood, re-upped by the Landrys, which is this other rich family in town who's kind of having a little bit of beef with the Bedros. That is also an additional layer of drama. We're gonna take a peek at Nifty Knitting and I'm just gonna pull out some objects that I would like to use. Why are there no good browns in this stuff back? Have you guys noticed that, that all the browns are like weird in this stuff back? Why? Ugh. This, okay, this is gonna be a challenge, I can already tell. Okay, I kind of like this red, weirdly enough, so I'm just gonna put it here. We might change the colors later, so don't don't freak out or panic if you're like, what the hell? See, I just want like a brown swatch. Why are these swatches so freaking weird? This is the this is actually the worst day ever. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna put some objects down. We'll get there when we get there. I might um, not even use this many objects from this pack. Okay, and then we need some music stuff. So I want like a media production table, probably. Oh wait, what am I doing? That's a DJ booth. Hang on, I'm losing my mind a little bit. This is the music station, okay. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Right, okay. <laughs> the last couple videos in a row that I've done are gameplay videos, so I feel like it's been literally forever since I've just rambled to you guys or talked to you guys about like what's going on or sim stuff. So much sim stuff has happened. I have like a literal whole list here about like things that I want to say, but I've just been like also super sick for like the past three weeks straight. Um, I was doing a bit better there in the middle. I mean, it's weird. The timeline is weird. So to kind of explain it a little bit better, since it probably was a little bit confusing to witness me be like, I'm sick, I'm better, I'm sick, I'm better on this channel. The video where I was furnishing that maximalist house was before I actually got sick. I thought I was sick. So I guess if we're going off of that timeline, I haven't been feeling well for four weeks straight now, but... I had this day where I woke up and I was like, I think I'm getting sick. I recorded. And then by the end of that day, I felt better and I felt fine. And then a week later, I got like fever. That was horrible because it was like three days straight and I had to miss work for three days. I had to go to urgent care. They didn't really help. 
Oh my god, I love this color desk. That's like so perfect for Harlow's side, but the style of the desk is more similar to like runes. I'm just gonna set it there. Where this is not final placement at all. We're just kind of getting objects and inspiration for this room. But yeah, so there was this period of time where then I was recovering from that for like a few days. I was starting to feel better because I was like bedridden and couldn't go to work for three days. And then I had a several more days where I was feeling unwell, but I was still going to work because like, you know, got to make money somehow. Then right as I was starting to feel better, I woke up and I had another fever and some really awful symptoms that were different from the previous symptoms. And so now I'm recovering from that, <laughs> which like, I don't want to vent about it too much because it's kind of personal, but obviously my immune system is not doing so great. Um, I, I'm really sick of being sick. I've been sick like I feel like the entire month of May and it's like literally my favorite month and I haven't been able to go outside at all really because I'm just so tired. Like even yesterday like I slept like 12 hours that night and then I had work in the evening and I took a like three hour nap before I went to work today. Like I'm recording this like right after I've woken up. So hopefully I have enough like energy, but I'm sure that I'll have to take a nap today. It's my day off luckily though. So we're gonna, we're gonna be able to kind of power through a little bit more today, I think, and be able to rest when I need rest, which is always good. I am not apologizing because I'm trying to apologize less. I, I do hope that this isn't too much of a bummer. I am doing okay and I'm not like trying to vent or anything and just that's what's going on in my life and it feels weird to not talk about it on this channel since I've had to tell you guys like oh I'm sick oh I'm sick oh I'm sick like over and over and over again so I don't know yeah not apologizing but I I hope that I am not bringing you the vibe down too much um trust that I am Okay, and I have this cat. Look at this cat. You probably can't see him. He's really cute. Hang on, full detour. He's so cute. Look at him. What the heck? Exposing my dishes in the corner? Okay, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> I feel like this is very Harlow's sense of interior decoration, so I'm gonna place it in the living room. I don't think it belongs in this room. I don't think I can fit it, obviously, but I want the entire space to be like both sisters are decorating equally and they kind of both equally have a say in how things go. Yeah, I feel like she needs another guitar for downstairs, but maybe that's overkill. Okay, I like the blacks and the purples of like this rug and then this um, poster right here. I'm gonna try and bring in maybe a candle is a good idea. Maybe this candle instead actually of this one. This one's kind of her, I feel. And then I feel like she's writing lyrics for herself, but also her band. So I wonder if I can get like a notebook with some notes on it. I think um, their sibling actually has one upstairs. Yeah, right here. This this piece of um, clutter could work really well for that. If we just put it like right there, maybe there's a different color. Yeah, let's just do the black one. Okay, I feel like this lamp fits, so we're gonna do this one. And I kind of want to alt play some stuff. Okay, I know she has a creative records in her bedroom, but I feel like she would just have so many records and so many CDs. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, to read book basket. Let's just find that one there. Maybe a little bit more off to the side. And then the candle more in the middle, like this. Yeah, okay. That that feels better. I'm not going to keep those CDs there. I was just pulling them out. Oh, I wish these were just a tiny bit longer. That is so annoying. Okay. They could just put it like straight over the door because it is like the water heater door. <laughs> so in my brain, they don't ever access it and they could just take the lights down when the landlord comes, you know? Is that like too strange? Okay, I like them a little bit higher in the space. I think that's that's really nice. And I might just get rid of that one. I think I need some poster for over the keyboard. And I wonder if I could get like an old movie poster looking thing. Something that looks really Hollywood. But like black and white old school Hollywood. Like 
like one of these posters but i want it to be black and white and i want it to be like a beautiful like bella goth you know what i mean like that's that's what i'm looking for is something like that i found it she's perfect if we're doing like a dual room anyways i think we need like a cat tree for the cat there okay i think that's like so perfect for the cat to go over there in that corner and then let's put that there maybe the bulletin board can be over the craft cart and then i gotta decide on like a color scheme here for this craft cart <laughs> which again why doesn't it just come in any neutral colors like that would be too easy you know like the only neutral color is black <laughs> like a gigantic leafy plant right here this one's almost the right vibes but i feel like there's some big plants that i never get to use in this game so i'm gonna take a peek around and see if i can find one of those ones like this one i never get to use this one. Oh, it doesn't even fit in this room i wonder if i could fit it like in this room it's like a two-story yeah okay okay i still feel like this isn't working i really wanted to use some of that like nifty knitting stuff that i literally never get to use but i just I, it's not none of it is working with what i'm wanting for the space look at some other furniture and just see what we can make happen in here i want like one of these older desks with a back in just like a wood town and for some reason like we can get that wood tone but we can't get any like darker wood tone unless we do this one but this isn't exactly what i'm talking about we have this paranormal one and this one's so perfect but yeah it only comes in like painted colors it doesn't come in like original wood tones we do have like this one which isn't a bad contender i honestly really like this one i think that this is like a really really good one for this I also think like a little trash can in here is super realistic. I, I'm i a crafter and also an artist and you just, you have to have a trash can in your studio. You, it's essential. You throw things away like every three seconds. Uh, maybe actually this one. Yeah, I like this one. Let's put that one like right there. Okay, I am going to add in this cart over here. I think I'm going to do it in like this dark blue color there is like this beautiful purple that i'm so tempted to use to like integrate over there but i'm i'm going for like the two sides they're both decorating thing so i'll go for that color i guess that does make me want another small rug under this section though i wonder annoying that why doesn't the cat tree just go over it you'd think but no, because why would The Sims 4 make any sense? I want like a cup of like pencils and maybe scissors to like put. Okay, I almost want those debug like holiday stuff put to hang over here somewhere. Hmm, maybe not. I know there's another one. Okay, I can't find them now. I don't know. I, I swore it existed and now I'm looking and I can't find it anywhere. Okay, I think that this is much more true to the vibes that I want for this space. I'm gonna delete this and find a little spot to maybe just set that down. Maybe we need like a shelf. Okay, I think that's a good starting place for this room. I might come back in and add more things into the bookshelf if I'm like finding anything that I really love that I wanna plop in. And now I guess we move on to the living room. So I'm immediately thinking about like this couch and if it comes in any like light lavender. No, of course it doesn't. Okay, maybe the blue then because that is very much runes color. I could also just go more neutral and just do like a white. Okay, what about like black seat and then like this rug? See, and this love seat to me is something that like Rune would like, but it really doesn't, it clashes with that couch. So no on that one. And I suppose the whole challenge is to like do some things that don't really go together. Oh my God, I swear I've never seen this couch before in my life. I think um another thing that I wanted to talk about in this like more chatty video was the season of love stuff and like the more recent update that they put out that they're going to be fixing the game hopefully um 
Yeah, the season of love stuff is interesting. I asked you guys for your thoughts and opinions um, because I was curious to hear what everyone's takeaway kind of was. Everyone had a bunch of different types of opinions. I was kind of saving them to talk about in one of these types of videos. And then it took way longer to record something like this than I thought. So it's kind of old news now, but I still wanted to talk about it. So is that too like matchy matchy? I can't tell. I like that blue, but maybe I don't like that blue. These chairs match this rug so well. What are you from? Dream Home Decorator. What pack are you from? Cottage Living. That's so interesting. Okay. If you ever need to perfectly pair some, some rugs to some chairs, the, these go surprisingly well together. <laughs> okay. I feel like I need to commit to just like one vibe in here and I'm having a hard time with it because I don't, I want it to be a mash of both of their styles. Like they've both decorated the place, but I also want it to look cohesive and cute, which is, that is the part I'm struggling with because they do have very different vibes. Like Harlow loves like minimalist, like salt lamps, but like kind of goth. Whereas like Rune loves more cutesy and traditional kind of style things. Oh, I'm having a I'm having a difficult time here. <laughs> Maybe the rug is just like too big. Maybe it needs to be like sorry, I'm stupid. Maybe it needs to be like one and a half times size. I don't know. I can't tell. It doesn't look good. Nothing is coming together really. I'm struggling a bit more with this than I thought I would. Alternatively, we could do like each room is styled by a different person. Okay, so yeah, I asked you guys about the seasonal love stuff and I wanted to reply to them in kind of a video because I feel like I have a ton of thoughts. I feel like my thoughts are kind of, uh, I feel like I'm a little bit of an outlier with my, th I think everyone else is excited. I'm not excited. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of worried. No, I wanted to like read some of your guys's comments. So Jojo said, I'm not sure how to feel. It's weird, but I'm almost hoping they'd bring back romantic interactions from older games since Sims 4 has been so kid friendly, despite it never being a kid's game. On the same note, I'm also worried of the kind of president that's being set. I almost wish it was in my wedding stories. Everyone says that the Sims team has ideas for a while before releasing them, but is that even true? Frowny face. They keep releasing concepts that could have been in another pack. I think that this person encapsulated a big part of how I'm feeling. I feel like they have this habit of taking a concept that was one expansion in The Sims 3 and then like trying to pull out one million things out of it. I think the greatest example of this is Generations in The Sims 3 versus all the different packs that we have in The Sims 4. And people have said like, oh, it's so that they can concentrate more and like do it better if they just focus on less. But I don't really think that's true because if you've played The Sims 3, you know how well um, that game did Generations. Like it's like everybody's favorite expansion pack for a reason like it's just a well done expansion pack and instead what we have had instead of one like $40 expansion pack because the expansion packs used to be less expensive in the sims 3 days parenthood a game pack that's $20 we have high school years we have growing together we have my wedding stories because the wedding stuff previously was in generations and then now we're getting this like romance expansion so like they took what was one expansion pack and they've made it into at least three expansion packs and the whole game pack at this point i love this game obviously like i wouldn't have a whole sims channel related to this game if i didn't absolutely love this game i wouldn't spend like thousands of dollars um if i didn't love this game like clearly i am in love with the sims 4 um so you know take it with a grain of salt and i agree that i worry about the kind of like consistency to just like milk everything for every little drop that they can get and especially lately with them just releasing like the buggiest messes of packs it's it is really concerning and don't worry we'll talk more about like the buggy situation Okay, maybe it's just this rug. Maybe this rug isn't working. I think I need to change the vibes in here. I don't know if the vibe of these two siblings worked on this together is going to come across or if it's just going to look disjointed, but we're just going to go for it. I'm just going to see what I can do. So yeah, and to kind of get my bummer stuff about the romance expansion out of the way, just so that I'm not continually being like negative about it, I do also want to say that um, 
my, and this is completely personal, and I know that this doesn't apply to anyone else, so no one yell at me about this, but I personally know that I would just much rather this stuff be left alone because I like how my modders handle like overhauling romance and I'm honestly afraid that the way the game is going to do it is going to be worse or just even different and I don't really want it to be different. God my neurodivergence is coming through so hard right here. I'm like how dare they change and update the game with things that are meant to change and update the game. I just want it to be the same because I don't like change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's so funny. Uh, I'm self-aware, I promise. <laughs> also, like, I hope to God this is enjoyable because I'm getting so sick of watching myself just, like, scrolling through the lamps category, not picking anything out, by the way. I'm not picking anything. I'm just, like, looking at stuff and then I'm just yapping. Like, <laughs> I'm not building. I'm just talking. <laughs> but this Sims 4 happens to be up and I'm supposedly furnishing. Like, oh my God, this video is a mess. And so it's kind of concerning to me to hear that they're like doing stuff with romance because it's like, okay, so first you broke weddings. Now are you going to break the entirety of romance in this game? What are they going to do to my drama? I feel like they're going to break it. And I'm really, really so concerned about that. Maybe I could mix and match still if I do like an older style rug. I'm sorry. I'm like struggling so immensely with their living room, which I thought was going to be like the easiest thing ever. Somebody else said, I think it's kind of weird because either it's super generic, just general love slash romance update stuff, which then it shouldn't be an expansion pack in my opinion, or it's going to be pretty niche and it probably won't align with my play style, slanty face. I'd like online dating, friends with benefit-esque things, but there are mods to do that so well already without a $30, 30 euro price tag. And this person is Nathulu who's saying that. And yeah, I agree with this as well. I know I said I was like not wanting to be a bummer about this for too long because I know people are really excited and I hate to be like a super negative person who's like, here's why you shouldn't be excited for this. But I really agree with that as well, that like it's romance stuff. In my opinion, that should just be like a base game update. If it's super niche, I have no problem with that, I think. Um, but also a whole expansion pack of super niche stuff. They're not really likely to do that. But I do think that that would be like the more ethical way for them to do it if they were to, which maybe that's me being way too picky. Maybe this is lame of me, but I kind of really want to use the salt lamp again, which I used it in her bedroom, but I think it's okay if I use it downstairs as well. I'm using the same rug too. I think I'm just like copying what I did upstairs. Is this too similar it, it kind of is i think i need a new rug okay dang it me settling on a rug and a vibe and then immediately being like no it's too similar to upstairs is so funny this video is like me not playing sims okay this is like too black and white now kylie said for updates i'm so excited honestly even though i have no clue what they'll be for expansion i'm wondering hoping if they're adding new types of dates i know the date goals are sometimes super slight slightly tailored to the law i'm sorry i can't read I know the date goals are sometimes slightly tailored to the lot where the date is happening, but maybe more unique ones and maybe a dating app. I think they're for sure going to do a dating app. I would be so surprised if we didn't get a dating app considering that it's like 2024 and they've done so many different types of like streamer careers or influencer careers and so many different types of social media platforms too. It would be crazy if they didn't finally implement a dating app. I feel like it just makes sense. Okay, maybe I can still add in like that they work together on it because this is more of a, like an old style couch and I feel like that really works. And then maybe if we even get like an older bookcase over in this corner. I really, really love this one. Although now they have two bookcases in this room. What am I thinking? This is technically a bookcase. Although in my brain, I thought of it more of like a console media tower, but then the fireplace is right there. So that doesn't make any sense. Maybe no fireplace. Maybe I take the fireplace out. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. It's Sims, like it doesn't really matter probably where exactly their freaking TV is and if they can see it exactly from every spot in the room. Like you can pretty much see it from anywhere. So I wish we just had like a medium sized speaker that I could slot there, like a, like this, but just slightly smaller so that I could like lift it into the space. Although maybe I could just like size it down. 
maybe some of those board games from I think the Everyday Clutter kit would go good. I'm gonna do this one. I'm just gonna lift it in here. Okay, I think that's really cute with like a little pot plant. And then it's just like a media console. And then it's like an old style bookcase, an older couch. Like Rune picked these items out. And then I think we need some curtains in here too. Um, strangely, Kai said, one of my friends over on Tumblr has theorized that the new expansion might have a world inspired by Mexico. Specifically, Papel Picado. I don't know if I'm saying that right. If I just had some confidence on it, I'd be so good. I had three years of Spanish and I couldn't even say papel picado with any kind of fucking confidence behind it. I Okay. Um, where her dad grew up. It's apparently known as being a gorgeous and romantic spot for destination weddings and honeymoons. So I would love if that's where the new world is based on. As long as the pack isn't a mess like the last romance themed pack we had was I'll be happy. If this is my wedding stories like two electric boogaloo i will cry i absolutely adore the idea of it being inspired by a mexican city i really think we are just so lacking in the world representation because we just have so many united states inspired worlds and i feel like we just need anything else like i really have been saying for a long time i have wanted like another asian inspired world i really wanted like an asian city the sims team i would love to submit for your consideration a city themed world with reference images such as that beautiful image there but this is another great example you know full disclaimer guys these may be ai generated i'm just clicking through literally like google images yeah certainly uh ai generated um it's getting more and more off topic i more so mean stuff like this like i just think that it, it's so gorgeous i love building in the si style in the sims and i would love a world for it to fit so beautifully into mount kamarabi is one of my favorite worlds so i'm like super biased here but I would just love like a really urban center version of Mount Kamurabi. Please, 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 please. I'm begging so much. I, I, this has been my number one world wish for so long. I would love it. That's all I want. Which I know San Maishuno was like kind of trying to be, but like, okay, my last ask still stands as like my number one world wish. But more practically, I do want to throw it out there that we don't have any African inspired worlds in this game at all. We don't have anything that's um, seemingly inspired by Australia at all. Um, barely anything inspired by South America. We basically only have Salvadorada, if I'm remembering correctly, and that's a very outsider view. You know, an Indian world would be so cool to see. Surprisingly, even like Europe only really has Windenburg, if you think about it. And I guess like you could make the argument that like all suburbs are kind of the same no matter where you go, but I just don't really believe that. And I think that's kind of like a cop-out excuse. I'm being so negative this video. I want to be less negative this video. I hope uh, everyone knows that I'm coming at this from a place of love. I wouldn't care so much and have all these opinions if I didn't care immensely about The Sims 4. I am really hopeful for like a Mexican inspired pack as well because I think it would be just so awesome. So that is something that I'm actually excited for because I I feel like this person's right just based off of the kind of styling of the promotional stuff. And maybe I'm just like daydreaming a little bit too hard and it's not actually what that styling means. But that's what I think is that we're going to get another world. But yeah, and I hope that if they do go with like a Mexican inspired world that it's not a like, ooh, a destination you know what i mean like i want it to be obviously i think they'll not make it only strictly a destination they haven't done that in forever and i think that they've learned that that's not really the coolest when they do that but i hope that the vibes aren't like super tourist based i i do hope that it's fleshed out as a place where like people live and not just a place where your sims go and visit this like interesting different town you know what i mean i'm like having this conversation you guys are gonna watch me change the same plants like 18 million times i'm so sorry kayana said if this means we finally get one side of relationship bars then i'm all in i replied to this one because this concept made me so excited i couldn't hold back from just replying in the spot I agree so much. I hope 
we get one-sided relationship bars back. I love the idea of the, just storytelling, being able to be like, oh, this sim has a crush on this other sim and being able to like show that through relationship bars. I freaking hope so. Lee by Stick says, if anything, I just want more bug fixes or the original game, but I like the concept of the new packs. I think I agree with that too. I think, you know, I had that whole rant and I agree with my rant. And I think I wouldn't have that opinion if I didn't feel like the game was kind of broken. Darby says, the only thing I really care about is reworking the romance bar because it takes no time to max that thing out when you're not trying to. These two met today and now they're in love. New romantic interactions would be sick though. I feel like I'm always doing the same tenor interactions over and over. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't say no to more interactions ever. I do think it's interesting the like romance bar maxing out thing. I agree with that. And at the same time, I don't want them to make it too hard. I don't know. I am conflicted on that. 70% of the time, this game is way too easy. And then the other 30%, it's like absurdly hard for no real good reason in a very infuriating way. And to explain what I mean a little bit more, I think like the perfect example is university. <laughs> I've been playing university. I love university. It's like one of my favorite packs, but it is insanely hard to do well in university. Another great example of this is infants, where they're just so insanely difficult compared to the rest of the game to deal with. If the entire rest of the game was scaled in the same way and it was just like a game that played a lot, like The Sims 1, where it's just like really infuriatingly hard to keep your Sims alive, that would be one thing. But it's strange because it's like so easy to do most of the game and then these random things, they like kick up the difficulty in an insane way that I don't really love. Yeah, I just don't think I would really love it if the standard for romancing sims in this game became similar to the difficulty that infants is or something like that. But I do agree in general that it would be cool if it was harder. I just don't want it to be like insane levels difficult. And I don't think that they do a very good job at doing like a middle ground difficult but feels in line with the rest of the game. I could put a mirror on this wall but mirrors don't cut away in live mode. And then let's get rid of those lights. Maybe I do need like a lamp over in this corner actually now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe a piece of art on this wall. I'm being Mona Lisa said since we're getting a romance expansion pack I really would love if they bring back those cutscenes from the Sims life stories Sims 2 I think I always love those to me they add so much to the game I honestly am not sure what a flirtatious expansion pack even means though lol yeah their marketing on it has been kind of weird I, I don't know if anyone else has been kind of like not sussed out but like I don't know they um have been being kind of like heavy on the seduction-y stuff. I, I don't know. I'm like, it's kind of silly to me. The two frames throw off the entire room for just being obscenely bright gold. I think they might, but they're so cute and they are giving me the vibe of something that Rune would like and pick out. What if I put it like over here vertically stacked? I feel like this is something Harlow would love, but it doesn't quite fit in the space. I'm just going to plop it like over there. We'll find a spot for it. We could just do the roses and black. That does also feel like something that Rune would like, but then the black kind of ties it in together. Okay, I think that's good. I think we move on to this room now. Art Gesco says, I really hope there's online dating. They have to do online dating. They like have to. Okay, I want like a really big chandelier and we're gonna put that in the black pot. Oh, be a big, beautiful plant makes me so happy. This video is gonna be so long. I've been recording for two hours and we're not even to the upstairs yet. I am so bad at this. This one's a little bit too big, bulky industrial vibes. Um, but this one's a little bit too short and we don't have a long version of it because like, why would we? Okay, this one's kind of fun, but once again, I feel like it's not tall enough. We have this one from Spa Day. Oh my gosh, they're not even from Dine Out, they're from Spa Day. Why did I have like a memory of these being from Dine Out for some reason? <laughs> Why did these come in Spa Day? Hello? I mean, I'm not mad. I, I, this, these are like our only gorgeous freaking chandeliers in the entire game, but maybe I'll do this one instead. 
right over there in black. I'm going to use some of these like bigger plant things that I never really get to use. Like these where it's all grouped together. I think could be so pretty. And then less individually placing plants for me to do. Like, yeah, I think that's so gorgeous. Okay. Very green heavy in here, but I think it works. I can get through there. I think they can because this is only like that one tile and then it's a bunch of like floof up here, but it's I think that sims are smart enough to get through. So and then I guess about the bug update situation, I feel like this video is just me shitting on The Sims 4 and I'm so sorry. I know you're like here to watch The Sims 4 and like enjoy The Sims 4. I'm enjoying The Sims 4 right now. So I am sorry if this is too negative of a video for you to enjoy. Um, but I gotta be honest, I um, saw the stuff, thoughts on it, I literally wrote down that the laundry list of bugs isn't even any of the big, like none of the biggest bugs that are impacting your ability to play the game are even on that list, sadly, which is devastating to me. Um, I think the biggest thing on there was I saw like one of the tweaks to gardening, but like gardening as an entire thing is broken right now. Like I have this botanist sim, Taz, who's going through university, but I'm just like, I don't even know if I want to try and have him get a garden because I'm just like, I know that it, it's just going to be broken, <laughs> which is so sad because gardening is like one of the most fleshed out things in this game and it just like doesn't work. And it's not even just like a base game thing, which infuriating if it's a base game thing or not, but like also considering the fact that like I have paid for the seasons expansion pack and a big thing that was marketed in that entire expansion pack was the whole gardening thing. It makes it like extra infuriating that it doesn't work because it's just like, why doesn't this feature work when it's something that I paid an additional $40 on top of the game for? So it's really frustrating that they're like kind of seemingly focusing on like these smaller bugs and not any of the big game breaking ones like the simulation lag, the tuning to infants, like if they could fix that, that would be amazing. They changed a few things about like the dine out menu, but it's like they forget the fact that like dine out doesn't really work at all. But then they're like, oh, but we added more to the menu. Go us. It's just, I don't know. I'm being really, really negative and I'm so sorry, but it's just when you've spent literally like a thousand something dollars on this game, it should work. <laughs> I know I have mods in my game, and the, the issues I'm talking about are not issues caused by mods, I promise you. The exception is my university gameplay. I've been sick, so I haven't had like time to go through and troubleshoot like that. So those videos, some of those bugs may totally be due to mods. I haven't had the energy or the time to go through that stuff off camera. I've just been wanting to get videos out to you guys, basically. But normally, if something is breaking, I scrap the part and I go and I figure out if this is something that I can fix by taking mods out of my game. And I also want to communicate that I've been using the word Sims team. I am not talking about the individual people hired by EA to work on the Sims team or even the Sims team as a whole. I think that this is a company problem with EA and like their work culture and what they're enforcing. I do not think the individual people have the control to do better or, you know, whatever. Like, at some point, EA got completely rid of the quality assurance team. Um, that is not a decision that anyone on the Sims team could have probably changed. And I don't want to give the impression that I'm like dogging on the Sims team specifically for anything because I really do not believe that this is their fault in any thing. I think that this is the fault of the video game industry and how it's going under capitalism. Let's extract as much money for as little as possible. I really think that that's truly at the core root what the problem is here. I'm glad they're doing something. I'm glad that they're trying to address these issues. So yeah, I think it's very complicated. I think um, I'm excited that they're supposedly going to be addressing these issues, but um, I wrote in my notes, so they reassembled the quality assurance team they got rid of. And I think that kind of sums up my thoughts on this. And I will stop talking about it now because I feel like I've just been so entirely negative. 
I'll, but also, I do want to say, like, I'm apologizing for it, but I'm not really apologizing for it. Because, like I said, I spent so much money on this game. You guys have spent so much money on this game. I don't think that this is one of those situations where it's just, like, if you don't like it, shut up and don't talk about it. I think toxic positivity is such a harmful thing because it's just, like, this is a product that we've paid for. This isn't just, like simmers being bitchy for no reason this is simmers being mad that something that they paid a ton of money for doesn't work i think that it is crazy the idea in this community that sometimes gets spread around about how we can't critique the game not being able to function <laughs> So yeah, that's the real end of me talking about it now. Um, I'm going, I'm in the dining room. I haven't really been talking about what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing it. So um, hopefully you could just like follow along with just seeing me doing stuff. Um, this is another room that I feel like Harlow would have majority furnished, but I feel like this piece is something that like Rune would have liked the style of. I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun envisioning them kind of collaborating on the different rooms in the house. I am going with the majority black and pink. At least I decided down here. These chairs, I'm not really sold on. I kind of almost want them to be green. Is that weird? Mm, I don't really think this was working. Okay, let's do, okay, wait, let's do this. Let's do maybe, I don't know, maybe it's this rug. And then we can also do wooden chairs. Oh, I love these wooden chairs. They remind me of my daycare growing up had chairs like that. We have like these short fabric chairs that we could use. Is that really weird? I don't, I don't think that works. I think it doesn't work. Okay, what if we scale this to be one and a half times bigger? Perfect. I think that is really cute. This is very Rune. Rune furnished this mainly although i still am not sold on that let's swap that out but yeah i think that the green oh that's so cute okay mainly rune i feel like these mirrors are definitely like a harlow pick um and then the black dish cupboard and this are obviously it's painted black because of harlow but i think that they're also um rune picks we can do the cat feeder in this room probably could do it in like this little corner. I always love doing two bowls because I like imagining that one of them is a water dish. Oh, that's actually something we should put in here. I think that would fill up some of this weird space is a little spot for the cat to nap. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, cat bed right there. It is devastating. Do we not have any like cat toys in this game? It does say your pet, but it just those look like dog toys to me i don't know in my family we have like a box of like cat toys so maybe the cat toys can go over there it says it's decorative but then it's also in the pet category is it decorative or is it not decorative i guess we're just gonna set it there like the cat is playing with it and if the cat doesn't play with it then all well i guess okay back up here to what i was doing we're gonna do two and then we're gonna get like a little rug there we go. Perfect. And then the cat food. This one has a dog on it. I wonder if I could put... Do they have any swatches with... Yes, they do. Okay. Let's do... That swatch of that cat one. This wall needs something. Maybe just some art. There was some art that I was like, oh, we're going to use that somewhere. Did I end up using that in this room? anywhere oh i did over there okay never mind um i never use this thing maybe there's a good swatch in there uh mm, they're all kind of too colorful i really like this one but not for this room this would go good in like this room though is that acceptable do we like this i think i love this painting in here actually Okay, I'm going to keep it. I don't know if that was a weird decision I just made, but I feel like it works for the sake of this room kind of coming together. And I might put another lamp in this corner over here. I feel like when in doubt, put a floor lamp down. It helps everything. A smaller than the big chandelier, but still a chandelier over the kitchen table will also help wonders. I don't know why it looks off center, but it, it does from this angle, but it's not. <laughs> I think I'm missing some more personal touch cluttery items. 
So I'm going to put some mail here. I think that that's a good spot for it. Oh, I did have this plant, this flower pot I wanted to use for the centerpiece in the dining room. It's like the pink flowery one I had briefly in the living room. And then I was like, no, I'm going to save that for the dining room. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Like I put it somewhere in these categories. <laughs> it's so silly. There it is. Found it. Perfect. Maybe the white is better in this room because since it's not one of the pink rooms. I don't know. We're going to go for that. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have like an established plant lover in this household or else I would feel like I'm doing plants in every corner that I think is a little weird as a cop out. But it's not a cop out if it's the lore. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I've been recording for two and a half hours. I have no idea how I'm going to even edit this down. I've been editing since 10 and it is currently 1.46 a.m. I really wanted this video out tomorrow, which is why I pushed through so late, but my throat's starting to hurt and something's telling me I probably should have gone to bed. Maybe we could use that weird little chair that I couldn't use before, this one. And then I want like cute little breakfast nooky stuff on the table. So let's go for, I don't know, we have that like really cute base game like mustard thing I always like using, but maybe I should pick something else. This condiments basket. This is, I love using this. I don't know why. I'm like obsessed with putting this in little breakfast nooks. I just think it's so adorable. Oh, but we could get like, okay, never mind. We're not. We're doing like a, like a jam and cream cheese. Oh, these blankets could be cute, like downstairs. I wonder if I could make this work in this room, possibly. Maybe over in this corner. And then get rid of that, probably. Is that better? I, I hate this object. It's like ruining my life because like I like this thing so much more. I just, mm, this object is throwing it all off for me. I don't know why. Maybe if I put it in this room, maybe like right there. Oh, that's a much better spot for it, I think. And then I could make the color. Mm, I like it blue. Okay, we're going to keep it in there because then it looks like a craft crafts bin for for this room and it matches with like these strings and okay i like that this room also the gold from this tying in this gold in more i did something good there i wonder maybe i should put something gold on this coffee table sorry i'm just like bouncing around but i think maybe we could tie it all together a little bit better okay that has no gold swatch in it. it has no yellow or gold in it i feel like the thing that makes the most sense would be like a tray like a golden tray but i don't know that we have that oh my gosh it's like an alternate version of this tray in here oh fascinating fascinating i didn't know that this was an object and the purple goes so gorgeous with this side of the room, of course. No, I think we got to commit to what I did. I don't, I'm backtracking too much now. I'm doing too many other things. We're just going to put that back because then I have to clutter that entire top of that thing. I'm just going to keep that in mind for the future. Oh my God, wait, he can go in here. I'm going to totally do that little gold statue in there. And then I'm going to look for something else to go over maybe here or the coffee table either one maybe like semi capsules because um rune collects them so wait let me see can i turn on and then it's like all the gold ones are displayed in the living room it's a prized possession okay let's see can i adequately do this or do i need to get a shelf out Okay, that's a little bit more gold in this room. This also has like gold accents, which I think helps. I wonder, maybe I could just get like a gold coffee table instead of this one. Maybe I just go for that. That's probably fine. I'm overthinking it. Okay, right. I added some stuff upstairs. I love the idea of this little like snack kit. That's really sweet. You know what a piece of clutter I would love in this game would be is if we had a little mat that we could place on counters to go like under the dish rack. I don't know. I, w I think that would be so cute. I would love that personally.
Did you guys just see that? What did it do to my sink? Bro, why? What does deleting the wall have to do with any of these objects? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What does deleting the wall have to do with anything? Huh? I have move objects on. Never mind. I was gonna try and do a little trick with the towel to put the towel like so that it's on the thing, but yeah, it's not worth it. I'm being too lazy. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> and I am going to put like a curtain on the inside, like in front of it. Yeah, I think that's cute. Your Sims can walk through there still. This floor moves when I click things is like so trippy. Like Watch the floor. You see that? Like, what is it doing that for? I don't know. It's like, I don't like it. <laughs> Tell it to stop. <laughs> Maybe it's like one of these types of tables. And it's like this instead. Oh, I could use those chairs. This one in black. <gasps> oh, perfect. Okay, wait. So let me do this and back it up a little bit. I feel like that makes more sense. Is that weird to have two rugs in here? Maybe if I turn that one like this way? Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, that's perfect. I love that. Okay, sorry. I I haven't seen that rug in so long. It's because it's under... It's a the vintage glamour, glamour rug, but the first pattern... I can't speak. It's because it's this vin this vampire's rug, but the first pattern is like ugly. And so you have to like cycle through to find like these other gorgeous ones buried underneath. Yeah, oh my gosh, okay, cute. So that's this is a little breakfast nook and probably where they'd like sit most always. They probably would only ever sit over here if like family was coming over or something like that. Hope it's not weird that it's like kind of disconjointed as like, from room to room like this room is so different from this room but like i hope the vibes are coming across that it's like that they worked on it together i just i think that's such a cute idea there are some simmers i know who furnish like build entire houses furnish like multiple of them a week like and i don't understand because i take so much time like you guys have been watching me work. Um, I'm editing this down, but like this is taking me forever. And this is only two stories. And I have a whole like I didn't even build any of like the outside in this video. It's just like purely me working on the inside. I don't know. I'm baffled. I'm completely baffled. I don't know how people um, are able to just like power through builds so entirely quickly because I'm such a slow builder and not that me being a slow builder is bad at all it's like fine it's not a judgment on myself I just I do wish I built faster just because then I could just I it wouldn't take me as long <laughs> to like do things like it would just be nice just for practical reasons like I would get done with the save faster I could make videos faster I kind of wanted it like sitting on the actual fridge but we can make do with this I think that's fine whoa I don't even know what I did just then but my game did not love it okay I'm gonna put two little mugs here one of them is gonna be runes this one and then the black one's gonna be harlow's and my idea is gonna be that like rune painted this as a kid but still uses it because you know rune loves little trinkets and little stuff like that going back down i do want to put this one right there i don't know if that's too much clutter in there i mm, i feel like it looks like it definitely like needs something but like i don't know what Who's and then some of uh, some of these and this thing that's probably like fine right that that does the job i mean it looks like dumb in there but i don't know how else to make the appliances look not dumb because that's just how the game is gonna do it regardless we could even do this is weird we could do another sink in here like a um i don't know sometimes you have like a Oh, 
the, you know what I should do? Laundry, because we don't have that anywhere in this house yet. And the dishwasher out here. Maybe we could even get one of those weird small dishwashers that they've been doing. I don't really understand the point of these, if I'm being honest, because they don't slot into the small cabinets. They only slot into the big ones, but then they just cut the drawer off and look kind of odd. Does anyone, can anyone explain that to me? I don't really get it. Like, why do people like these? Because it's just cutting the, into the drawer halfway. It doesn't slot. I wish it slotted into the small, because it fits. Look at, like, the size is right. So I don't understand them. I don't get why they're doing these. And yeah, I am personally a little, little confused by these and why everyone's excited about them because to me, they just look odd, but I'll use one. It's fine. So they can chop on that. They can chop on this. This one they should be able to chop on. Maybe this piece of clutter is like stupid now. Right. I think that makes sense. I think that's cute, you know? I think that's it. And I think I achieved like a, everybody took a hand in building this. And then now I think it's ready for me to set up some allure in here, which is super exciting because I'm very excited to get back to doing some more allure. Don't worry, I will be making a lore video very soon. There is my cat once again, if you wish to see him one more time. I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching this kind of chatty, rambly video. I have a few other videos like this. I also have some lore stuff if you're interested more in the save file. All right, thanks for watching.